Ryan Kotzen is suing his neighbor, Joyce Tung Ye, for medical bills after her dog bit him in the face. Mr. Kotzen, on what day were you being a good Samaritan, sir? July 25th. Where did this happen and what time of day? It happened by my house in Northridge. Um, it was around the afternoon. Tell me what happened. Okay, so I was driving home. I just had picked up some food and um, driving through my neighborhood, I see a dog walking across the street without an owner or leash. So I pulled over. What kind of dog? Uh, it looked like a little s poodle. How big? Maybe 15 pounds. What color? White. Anybody else on the street? No, but there were cars driving by. So you pulled over? I pulled over. I was concerned for the animal. And what did you do? And I got out of the car. Um, I walked up to the, the dog. It seemed friendly enough. As I went up to it, I got to pet it. It seemed really friendly. Uh, I reached down to look at the collar, and that's when it jumped up and bit and latched onto my cheek and uh, violently shook. So I, I pushed it off me, and I chased it, and it ran into a garage. So I figured it must be the owner's. OK. When you saw it go into the garage, what did you do next? My first instinct was, OK, this must be the house. So I went and got something to cover my face, because I was bleeding. You went back to your car? Mm -hmm. And then I went to the door and knocked on Joyce's door. She answered. Did you know her before? No. OK. And? And uh, she answered, and I had my hand on my chin. And I said, did you lose your dog? And she said, yes. Did you find him? I said, yeah, he's in your garage. And he bit my face. And she said, Marshmallow bit your face? And I said, yes, Marshmallow bit my face. That's why we're here. OK. You want the defendant to be responsible for your medical bills? Yes, and, and she did say that she would pay for them. OK. When did you notice your dog missing? The when that day did you notice your dog missing? I noticed my dog was missing. I didn't let what him out. What time did you notice? I the, said, when? The, I the, don't remember. Maybe 10, 10, 15 minutes after the contractor arrived. You were at home. I was at home. And what time did the contractor arrive? Morning, afternoon? Oh, uh, early, early afternoon. When you noticed your dog missing, what did you do? I went out to look for him. And did you find him? No. Did you call the police? Did you notify animal control? No. Why not? Because in the past, when we were in Orange County, Gardner will forget to close the gate, the dog will go out, and he will come back. That's exactly what I wanted you to hear. So. Out there. Well, so this has happened to you before, and the dog always came back. Correct. Well, that can't happen. So you're on notice that your dog gets out. And if I believe the story was the contract who let the dog out, you can't let your dog out. I actually, you know, I said, well, you know, if this was the first time this happened and she immediately reported it to the police and it had never happened before, but evidently this is an occurrence that happens frequently. No, 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 not frequently. How infrequently? Maybe once in Orange County. I don't believe you. You have to pay for once his medical time. bills. Can I see him, please? Yes, of course. Maybe I'll just give you everything. No, no, no. No? no. Just a minute. You have a dog. Okay. You're supposed to keep your dog in your house, under your control, or under your control at all times. But I didn't let the dog out. I don't care if you let the dog out. It's your dog. I don't care who let the dog out. Somebody who you allowed into your house let the dog out, and the dog's been let out before, and I guarantee you, more than once. So how much were your out-of-pocket expenses, sir? $386.07. Do you have photographs of your injury? I do. I'd like to take a look at them. Why didn't you pay his medical bills? I asked to see the receipts. He never gave me the receipts. When did you ask for the receipts? All along when he contacted me. He first contacted the animal shelter, and the inspector came out to inspect my house. Nothing found wrong. Listen and to the, me. Your okay. answer is ridiculous. Your answer first denies that it was your dog, because your dog was in the garage when you left, when you saw my it. My dog it was, was a, in the garage yeah. next mm -hmm. time I saw him. Yeah. Well, but that suggests that it was somebody else's dog. It wasn't somebody else's dog. It was your dog. Ryan must have seen a small stray dog that he stupidly decided to pick up since a small dog can't jump six feet in the air and bite him in the face. Well, if you're trying to look and see where the dog comes from, if it's a stray dog and it's got a collar, you have to bend down and look at the collar to see the name on the collar. Doesn't that make sense to you? It does. All right. Okay. It makes more okay. sense than your answer. Okay. Your expenses are about $400, and I'm awarding you another $600 for pain and suffering. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,000. We're done here. You should have paid the medical bills on time. 